I'm going to be restoring this sledgehammer, well, at least the head of the hammer. It's very rusty, and I'm going to be using electrolysis to actually clean off a lot of the rust. The first thing that I needed was a container to actually support it. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like this video. The container that I've got is just big enough for the actual hammer head to go in, and the next thing that I need to do was sort out the electrics. I'm using DC voltage to actually remove the rust the negative element needs to go on the hammer head where it's actually rusty and the positive within the container i've got some scrap metal this was from armored cable that i used previously do check out the other video and i'm using just a laptop adapter which is actually supporting 20 volts dc current now what i did was I wrapped the steel wire because it's scrap and this is what's actually going to be removed uh, as the sacrificial metal when removing the rust into a bit of a core hoping that I'll get a lot more surface area. I used the copper pipe because it was just the easiest thing to use to ensure that I've got a large surface, surface area. Now I just added this into the container, I joined out two halves so that the voltage would travel round on both sides equally and connected them so that there was a decent enough connection to supply the voltage ensuring that the metal elements were not actually connect to the actual hammer itself I then connected it to the adapter ensuring that it was actually switched off so I've not turned on any ele electronics yet and then now connecting the negative element to the sledgehammer itself. Now I wrapped it around as much as possible ensuring that I got the majority of the surfaces but it was good enough and then connecting it up just using connectors that you can purchase from anywhere. You could crimp them but it's just whatever works. I really didn't want to use the copper wire. The next is that I just use regular soap which I use to clean clothes and popped in mm, about a, I'd say half a cup added in some water dipped in the actual sledgehammer which is now got the negative charged element on there taped it up because I didn't want the wires touching ensuring that they were secure and then actually putting in the sacrifice material across the side and then connecting the two pieces together so that if the voltage did get disconnected from one side it would connect from the other side I had to make sure that it wasn't connected I probably should use the larger container got a nice slow-mo of the rust being removed and you can see it just bubbling up to the top and here you go you can see that it's quite dirty where the rust has actually come out so I now just ended up removing the sledgehammer as it stood to see what it actually looked like disconnected everything now I did leave it in there for approximately two hours and you can see just how much it, dirt and rust and everything else has actually come out what I actually did have to do was put it back in for another couple of hours because it didn't do it enough and had to put it back in one thing that I did do and you should really do is just check against the multimeter that you're actually getting a 20 volt supply or whatever supply you're using if you're using a battery charger or any other kind of voltage just check the multimeter you can see after the second round it was a lot dirtier the water afterwards uh, I did use uh, a fresh batch of um, washing powder what I'm doing now is just cleaning it off using a brush using a wire wool brush as well or wire brush and just the usual scale pad to get everything off finally I just wiped it down cleaned it off and then added in a bit of WD-40 to get it looking as nice as I could I then rubbed in the WD-40 trying to oil it as much as possible you can see the majority of the rust had actually disappeared there's probably a little bit left but I didn't want to go too deep you could actually see all the markings and everything underneath all the rust and it looked really good you can actually see the size of the sledgehammer as well as all of the markings and it came out really well the next job for me is to take care of the handle but I'm not going to be doing it in this video so please do get yourself subscribed 
so you can check out the next video and don't forget to hit the bell icon and check out one of my other videos.